All right, so these are supposed to represent the eyeballs. There's much better diagrams on your hand out there. So you got your lovely cornea on this side and your pupil and light's gonna pass through your cornea, pass through the pupil, pass through the lens and get hopefully all your light rays that come in will converge right on your retina and form an image. And that's the idea. And as long as light rays converge right on your retina, it'll be a nice crystal clear image. The problem is, is in some people, these light rays would actually converge at a place they're never gonna reach. And they would normally converge behind the retina. So on the far side of the retina, and that's farsightedness, not because it's the far side of the rest, retina, but my way of remembering it. And so if the light rays look like they would actually converge on the far side of the retina, then what's gonna actually happen right at the retina? Well, the light rays don't exactly converge, but that's where the, you need them to converge. And so what you're gonna see is a blurry image. Cool. Now, on the other hand, in some people, those lovely light rays converge in front of the retina, on the near side of the retina, which is my way of remembering that that's what nearsightedness does. And so in this case, again, once they pass through this point, then they're all gonna pass through. And by the time you hit the retina, they don't all converge at the same point again. You're gonna see a blurry image yet again. And so the, that's a problem. Now, in the case of the ones that would go beyond this, you want them to converge more sooner or later? Sooner, which means you need to use a converging lens. Now, the ones that converged before they reached the retina, you want those to converge later, which means you wanna put a diverging lens out front. And that's how you kinda of correct for farsightedness and nearsightedness in using the appropriate lens. Cool. That is all I really want to say about this. So, but just again, using the principle of optics and using it in some place uh, that's kind of medically relevant. Any questions on that? Sweet. It's another name for farsightedness. Hyperopia and nearsightedness? Myopia, those are probably two little buzz names that are probably worth committing to memory. Hyperopia, farsightedness. So myopia, nearsightedness. Cool.